I am Dr. Shilpa Agrawal. I am a practicing consultant at Jaslok Hospital and Research Centre, Mumbai. Kinko is caused by mosquito bite. It actually it is a viral disease which is caused by a specific mosquito that is Aedes aegypti. And this mosquito has a specificity to bite between dawn and dusk. So it is not that the nets will help us. So that is the reason why I have to specify that it is dawn and dusk. The biting is more in the daytime. Chikungunya is again a viral disease, but uh, see that the problem is dengue is more of a febrile disorder, whereas chikungunya is more of a muscular pain disorder or a joint pain disorder. So early detection, any fever, be it in pregnancy or in child, should not be neglected. So they should take a proper uh, consultation with their pediatrician or an obstetrician for any fever, and especially in monsoon where the dengue cases are on rise. Okay, then early uh, the treatment of dengue is hydration and symptomatic treatment of fever. So increased intake of oral fluids is the mainstay treatment for dengue. And also fever should be treated with paracetamol. So any high rise in fever is not good either in pregnancy or for the kids. So we should avoid any fever by giving adequate doses of paracetamol to them. So paracetamol is very safe in pregnancy. It should be taken without any hesitance. Prevention is either you clean your environment or you do something to yourself. So if I say environment, dengue, dengue mosquitoes, they basically, they are in the stagnant and clean water. So not that they breed in dirty water. So it is more common in the urban areas where, the, if at all, it is in the stagnant and clean water like in pots or vases or anything where the water is stored. So we should avoid any storage of water around our areas. And next is by either wearing a long sleeve clothes in monsoon specifically or applying a repellent or using a, a mosquito spray. So these are the methods where we should avoid a mosquito bite basically. So this is the primary, primary thing that we should avoid a mosquito bite and that is how by doing it to the environment or by doing it to, the, to ourselves we can do that. Dengue usually will not cause any problem if it is treated early. Treatment is plenty of fluids and fever management. What we monitor in dengue is platelet count and liver function test. See, it depends on the severity of the disease and the gestational age. Gestational age in which month she is. Yeah. So if it's a severe form of disease in any stage of pregnancy, obviously it's going to affect the mother with bleeding complications and the baby, there can be fetal death also. But if it is, say if suppose it's first three months, that is first trimester of pregnancy, it can cause miscarriage, that is abortion. If it's in the middle part, it is usually the outcome is good because the antibodies are produced in the mother and they are transferred to the baby, to the fetus inside. So the baby is protected. If it is in the third trimester, that is the last end of phase of the pregnancy, where she is about to deliver, again that is not good because the baby will not be protected by antibodies and if we have the delivery in the acute phase, baby might have, there are reports which say that there is a vertical transmission which means dengue can be transmitted from the mother to the baby in the acute phase. If the baby is protected by antibodies, then it is fine. But otherwise, we have to always check such babies for fever, rash and monitor them for dengue. So, it depends on the severity and the gestational age. Natural remedies are like your citronella oil, eucalyptus oil. In case if you are reluctant to use this mosquito repellent, and yes, pregnancy, you, should always, you always want to be very safe. So, you can use such oils and keep them uh, in, uh, around your surroundings so that you avoid any mosquito bites.